On Wednesday of this week, Peter Blas and two other fire department captains testified before lawmakers about the hostile work environment under the leadership of Chief Day Pareto. Then late yesterday afternoon, Blas and fellow Captain Edward Mendiola were arrested on charges of theft, record tampering and official misconduct. In the presence of his attorney, Jamie Canto, Captain Blas told PNC News today that the arrests are proof of the fire chief's vindictive nature. He thinks he was targeted because he filed a grievance against Chief Pareto, and the chief then filed an adverse action complaint against him. Captain Blas told us he is innocent and claims his arrest is retaliation by the chief. Yes, I believe this is retaliation for my testimony on that oversight on Wednesday. Yeah, maybe it's true we don't share the same ideas, but that doesn't mean you have to target me. Blas, a former GFD internal affairs officer, believes the situation was blown out of proportion and should have been handled differently. It's in the rules. Management should never use the adverse action as a punitive thing. It should be corrective. It's Fire Chief Pareto was unavailable for comment. However, the department in a statement says the arrest was, quote, the result of an ongoing investigation that began in June 2008. The fact that the arrests were made on the heels of a Senate oversight hearing is merely coincidental, unquote. Senator Ray Tenorio says he wants government employees to be free to testify without fear of retribution. And while he was assured by the police and fire chiefs the arrests were coincidental, he wants to see proof. Um, if there's any evidence to establish that the fire department or the police or anyone else uh, colluded in any way, then that information should be brought to bear because uh, that's simply not acceptable. In the meantime, Attorney Cantil says they will continue to pursue an adverse action appeal. There are motion hearings set in the adverse action appeal and we will pursue um, whatever is available to us in terms of filing motions. But I think Captain Blas is very eager to get to the actual hearing on the merits to show, to bring the truth to light and show that he really didn't do anything wrong to begin with. Captain Blas has been placed on administrative leave and is scheduled to meet with the Civil Service Commission again on October 28th. As for the charges brought upon both fire captains, it is now up to the Attorney General's office to decide whether the charges will be dropped or not. That can take up to one year. Josh Tikenko, Pacific News Center in Agatnya.